Look how moist and juicy that is. Oh, it's all just flaky and it's because it's basically steamed in the oven. Look at that. That's just gorgeous right there. Oh, ako si Daddy Jess. Nagaluto ng alibot. Alibot na luto na mamaya para kainin. I-oven lang ito. Hindi natin nangalisin ang, ang balat para para hindi masunog ang laman. Got you something? Huh? Got you something? What is it? Yeah, so this is the bay liner that we're gonna take out pretty soon to go catch some halibut. But, in the meantime, you guys are gonna see something pretty cool today. You guys are gonna see a recipe for a fish that is inside this bag. Based on the title, you already know that it's a halibut. And uh, Dad is gonna show us how to roast this thing. Linisan mo na. Ano to? Lutuin lahat? O kalahati lang? Kalahati lang? O lahat? Hindi natin maubos to lahat. Kakatapos ng linisan. Kaliskisan. Alisin yung kaliskis. Masyadong malaki ito para sa anim na taong kakain. Lima. Lima ng tao kakain. Masyadong malaki. Anin na lang natin yung iba. Katin. Wala nang bituka. Wala po nang bituka. Sayang yun. Sarap yun. Okay, sige, kalahati lang. Ano dito? Tama na ito. Uh, Tapos, uh, ano yung kanto? Slice it. Ako itiran lang yung ulo para sabaw lang yan. Para sabaw lang yung ulo. Salap sabawan to. Yung ulo, sabaw, sinigang. Tapos yung katawan, yan ang pang-oven. Nasin lang yung dulo ng tinik Kasi itong dito pwedeng sipsipin ito Mamaya Para walang sayang Yan ang Filipino style Lahat ng laman dapat makain Aha. Oh, di kalahati lang. Da, dapat may leftovers. Bukas. Para bukas. 
kalatil lang. Tama na ito. Hanggang dito lang. Ito makain mo. Kain ko. Sa kabila. Ang pamukpok ah. Tingnan mo Ano ang ginagawa mo? Ito para sa kasama na sa ulo sa bawan Bakit ginagamit mo ang pokok? Para limpidurog yung laman Ito Maganda ang ganito. Oh, hindi sa tagain. Split in half. Ganda yan. All right, guys, before we continue, huge thank you to Danny Morton. He's a local commercial fisherman here in our area. He's the one who provided this fish. Uh, he just got licensed to sell them directly to uh, people, uh, direct to the consumers, not to any restaurants or anything. So if you guys want fresh halibut, sole, uh, turbo, you guys can give him a call. This is his information right over here. He definitely uh, came in clutch today. He dropped it off right at Haunt of Santa Maria where I worked and uh, pretty stoked to have a very fresh dinner at prices that totally beat the supermarket. Roughly half of what they charge at Albertsons or Costco for halibut. So thank you, Danny. And if you guys want some fresh fish, definitely hit him up if you live on the Central Coast in the Santa Maria area. Oh yeah, and not to mention you get every bit of the fish Actually, Danny gave this one already gutted, so pretty much all 12 pounds of this fish is pretty much meat and bone, uh, so you can really do what you want with this fish in terms of leaving the recipe options open because it has the skin and the bones. Bones are super good for soup, so that is pretty exciting. So if you guys want the whole fish versus just the fillets that they have at the supermarket, definitely uh, hit him up or catch your own. Which based on the last video, I wasn't able to do. If you guys didn't see that video, you could check it out after this video, but oh, I ended up putting a legal halibut on the kayak and then you guys can watch the rest. Okay, and dito na kami sa kusina. Ito naka-vacuum cell na ito, ready sa pwede na itong ilagay sa freezer. Napakaganda oh, preskong presko. Hmm, sarap talaga ito. Talagang ito yung Uh, halibut steak sarap yan sarap yan yung ulo pang sinigang yan ito ang pang ulam ngayong gabi lagyan natin ng mga paminta ito at saka i-oven ng buo 
Simple lang ang ingredient nito. Magkatalo lang ito sa sausawan. Maggawa ka na lang ng limon at saka soy sauce. At saka kung ano pang gusto mong ilagay. Bawang or siling manghang or depende na sa panlasa. Kaya gagawin ko lang ito. Asinan ko lang siya. Konti. Ang ginagawa kong asin eh, ito lang. Ito lang ang pangasin ko. Pag naluto ito, tuklapin mo lang yung balat para yung, yung laman niya ay moisture, yung ma, hindi dry. Pwede mong dagan maramihan ng asin kasi hindi man mag-absorb yung gusto sa, sa laman. Okay lang yan. Simple. Walang, walang mga sikretong ingredients ito. Pag fresh kong isda, hindi na kailangan kung ano-ano pang kung ano-ano pang mga Palamuti ang ilagay mo. Ang isda na presko, basta luto, masarap. Ang isda na luma, kahit anong lagyan mo ng, ng pampasarap, luma pa rin yan. Ito na, ilalagyan natin ng aluminum foil itong pan para hindi mahirap maglinis pagkatapos. Itong, itong process na ito, parang ano lang ito, parang ginawa lang na steam, steam. Isteaman mo lang yung isda. Yan, lagay mo na dyan. Tapos, pwede mo na takpan ng oil sa taas. Tapos, lagay sa oven. Lagay mo ng mga 350, 375, 45 minutes. Pwede nang kumain. Ayos na yan. So, ilagay lang natin ng mga 360. Yan. Naka 360 yan. Hintayin lang natin umilaw ito para ready na. Mga 45 minutes approximate time. Mag-adjust na lang kayo ng time kung hindi pa luto. So, tatakpan ko ng ano, aluminum foil. Parang yung isda, parang na-steaman lang siya. Hindi siya dry. Lalo kung malaking isda, kailangan mo laking steamer. Kung wala ka malaking steamer, ito ang gagawin mo. Ayan, pwede na yung lagi sa oven pag ready na. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> Kung gusto mong lagay ng vegetables, halimbawa ay eh, uh, lagyan mo ng uh, asparagus o kaya talong siya o kaya lagyan mo ng sibuyas na dahon, pwede rin. Pindi na sa diskarte yan. Ang oven natin, ready na. Pwede na natin ilagay yung, yung uh, isda. Ito, parang steam isda lang ito. Na. Yan. yan na. Yan na siya. Pwede rin natin ilagay yung timer. Andiyan na. 45 minutes lang yan. Ito ngayon ang gagawin nating sausawan habang ang isda natin ay nasa oven. Marami tayong time mag-prepare ng ganito. Una, mag-iwa or mag no ka ng bawang. Nothing is squeeze. 
Sibuyas. Isang maliit lang na sibuyas, pwede na. Marami na nga ito eh. Pero okay lang yan. Tapos, lemon. Limon, konti lang nito siguro mga isang maliit na kutsarita lang. Hindi naman kailangan na maalat siya. Ayos na yan. Tapos itong soy sauce. Pwede mo rin tikman yan kung anong tama na yung alat yan. Kung kulang pa ng soy sauce, pwede mong dagadaga ng soy sauce. Depende na sa, sa iyong panlasa. Kung maalat yung panlasa mo, dagdagan mo ng asin o kaya ito. O kaya soy sauce. Depende na sa, sa panlasa. Yan lang. Magluto tayo ng kanin kasi wala tayong kanin eh. Kasi masarap yun pag may kanin. Lalo pag kamay lang ang gagamitin. Nako, masarap. <laughs> Ayun, magluto na tayo ng kanin. Kanin naman. Ugasan ng kanin para maalis yung powder powder sa kanin. Ilang beses? Eh, mga dalawa lang. Mga dalawang hugas na lang. Ay, kaya lang. Ito ay ang kanin. One is to one. One cup of rice, one cup na tubig. Pinakasimple. Rice cooker. Dalawang cup na rice. Dalawang cup rin yung tubig. Magdagdag tayo yung kunti lang. Bago mo hanguin yung inobin mong isda, maglagay ka ng oh, uh, soy sauce. Ito yung soy sauce na ano, less sodium. Tapos lagyan mo ng olive oil. See about that much. You warm us a microwave. Mga twenty seconds. Tapos yun ang i-ibisting mo ron sa ista. Back it twenty seconds. Parang inunahan mo ng konting mainit-init. Mainit-init lang, hindi yung boiling. Iyan niya yun ang ilagay mo sa, sa isda.
됩니다. 자, 이나 리스나용 타킵 나 루미눔 포일 난디스 나 이나 베파이 미니트 아라비디나 아만 타마 랑용 아노 레스 May you make your choices for our bodies and uh, please also bless the less fortunate uh, who don't have meals like this. Uh, may you look after them as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Or it's hard. Wow. With a sauce right here. Mmm. Good. Shut up, Naman. What do you think, Grandma? Good. Good. Soy sauce and lemon juice is my favorite. It's really good. It's super fresh. It's like we could have it like with like a ceviche, like just with the raw um, halibut and that sauce. It's like funny. Mmm. Is it dry? Is it dry? And this simply moist. How is it, Pernica? Very is buttery. Simple, nothing fancy things in it. It's magic. Because <laughs> when, the, when the fish is fresh, mm -hmm. you don't have to put too much spices or anything. What you put in it? Just a uh, salamaria so seasoning, then after we take it out, we should uh, leave it for like another five minutes when you turn it off. And leave there for a while until it get more. Uh, but we're just try to taste how it tastes like. So it's good. It is really good. Yeah, it's super fresh. Look at this. The meat. Should you do a, a Take a look at that. Look at that. Look how moist and juicy that is. Oh, it's all just flaky, and it's because it's basically steamed in the oven. Look at that. That's just gorgeous right there. So this, the seasoning was really on the skin, so there's not that much seasoning on the fish itself. So let's just try it with just the fish itself, no seasoning on it. Oh, yeah. You're right. You said buttery. It tastes super buttery. And there was no butter added to this at all. Really? Mm-mm. No, no <laughs> butter. No butter. No butter whatsoever. It's just uh, no. olive oil and, and uh, soy sauce, but that's the end of it. But the meat itself, it doesn't have nothing on it. Yeah, because it was inside, and then inside. the skin had the it's seasoning the on it. But guys, yeah, this is amazing. Again, thank you, Danny, for this. Uh, this was a really good meal. Again, if you guys are looking for a whole halibut and you live here on the Central Coast, give Danny a call. Uh, he's trying to grow this business and see what is going on. So we're trying to support local anglers, uh, local commercial fishermen as well. Uh, we're gonna enjoy this as a family. Ho hopefully you guys can have a meal like this with your families. 
and there's one more thing. Oh yeah, uh, this whole thing that we did with my dad, uh, with him just talking all in Tagalog and you reading in the text. And by the way, Tagalog is the native language of Filipinos. And uh, it was just something that I've always wanted to do because it's just so authentic and uh, that's his first language. So he was re really able to express uh, exactly what he wanted to while he was cooking his first cooking show. So this is uh, this has been an episode of Cooking with Jess, Hook to Cook Senior. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, definitely hit the like button. Definitely subscribe. We'll do it again. Let us know if you if you want to see more of Dad speaking in Tagalog and showing you how he does things. Good. Very good. Okay. <laughs> now we have a cool fish for a honeymoon. Lemony, garlic beef. You want to try some of the salad? Mm. It's got some of the quinoa in it. It's going to strip a good. It would probably taste better if we caught it ourselves. Hot end. Yeah.